Once the assembly instructions have been completed, roll the plane perfect to a flat area. Next, set rear leg inward until the line marked with an S meets the line with a PW. The sticker on the leg is the club lie indicator, and the sticker on the bracket is the club selector indicator. By using the S, you are setting the lie angle to the standard club lie. If you have a custom club with the lie angle bent 1 or 2 degrees upright or flat, choose the corresponding number on the club that you are using. For example, this is a setting for a 7 iron that is 1 degree flat. We suggest mostly using irons for training in the machine, but there are corresponding settings for the clubs all the way to driver. The very first and most important setting before using the machine is for height of the golfer. First, set the height adjustment by sliding the black tubing in or out of the machine and align the golfer's height with the red height adjustment sticker. This will give a good starting point for the height setting. Next, have the golfer stand inside the machine and take a slow backswing while keeping their correct posture. Ideally, the hands of the golfer should be close to the black tube, but not touching it. For golfers under six feet tall, it may be necessary to move slightly to the right in the machine to help narrow the distance to the guides. And taller golfers may need to move left in the machine to make sure that they don't hit the guides with their hands. Next, set the machine for the club that you'll be using by the corresponding lie angle and club selector. Then, stand in the machine and place your club so that it is flat against the gray flat guide and move back and forward until comfortable. The Plain Perfect machine works best if golfers set up in a dress position with hands near the position of impact. Most of the top golfers in the world do this. Actually, most amateur golfers set up with hands too low at a dress and come to the impact position with the hands too high, and this results in the loss of power. However, the machine has built-in gauges to fine-tune personal preferences to lower the hands or lie angle at a dress. By turning this gauge, the golfer can set a dress position for their own comforts. Always set second similar gauge that is located to the right to the same position as the address position gauge. The next setting of the machine is for the actual swing plane. The swing plane gauge is adjusted by knob number one. Turning the lie knob will raise the plane of the swing gradually, making the swing more upright. The numbers on the gauge indicate the amount of degrees above shaft plane that the swing plane will be. You can see that this rises the plane of the upper half of the swing without changing the address and impact lie angle. If you are using the Academy model, you will need to raise the front guide at the same time by turning knob number two. For a one plane swing, keep the two guides close by making a slot wide enough for the club shaft to slide through easily. You may adjust the two lower knobs, three and four, to either narrow or far apart settings. The closer together, the more on plane and the more precise the swing will be. This creates a one plane swing that the downswing repeats the backswing. For a two-plane setting on the Academy model, knob number two can be adjusted to bring the front guide more upright, making a wider gap, allowing the golfer to bring the club back on the backswing, riding the front guide all the way to the top of the swing. Then, when it meets the rear guide, simply swing down, riding the rear guide to create a flatter, more inside downswing to impact for a two-plane swing. The Plane Perfect Golf Machine creates a full shoulder turn and maintaining of width in swinging. The final adjustment is the stopper at the top of the swing. To shorten or lengthen the swing, simply slide the stopper to the desired stopping point. This is also great for three-quarter shots. One very useful tip while using either of the Plane Perfect machines is to periodically check your hand position during the top half of the swing. By having your hands in the Academy model between the two black guides or on the Pro model just under the black guides, this will ensure the club is facing the target and not laid off across the line. If hands are in front of the guides, the club will be laid off, and if the hands are too deep or behind the guides, the club would be across the line. At first, just look back to see hand position, and after a little time in the machine, 
you will automatically feel where your hands are and if you're laid off across the line. This will improve your position quickly at the top without the need of a mirror or an instructor behind you constantly. Continual practice in the Plane Perfect Golf Machines will repeat your plane and path every time. This ingrains muscle memory quickly for improving your swing faster than ever before. We suggest training in the machines for at least 60 minutes before attempting to hit balls. Most golfers have difficulty with ball striking at first in the machine due to the difference in feel and the new swing versus their current swing. However, because the machines duplicate the new swing perfectly each and every time, the golfer will ingrain the new swing quickly and more permanent. Commit to the swing changes and see your improvements consistently for the rest of your life.